One of the most talked about and confusing topics this election is issue two. Everywhere you look, you're seeing ads trying to convince you to vote a certain way. One thing the casino amendment proposal would do is remove a Pope County, Pope County as a casino location. So all new this morning, we verify a prominent claim in some of the ads involving voters in Pope County. If you go by the number of ads you see on TV and devices, the hottest race in Arkansas this season is issue two. One choice is simple. I'm here to help you get the facts. What do you make of this issue two? So is issue two. A yes vote would get rid of the casino license awarded to the Cherokee Nation and their planned Legends Casino in Pope County. And if we ever consider placing a casino anywhere in the state, there will have to be a local up or down vote in the county where the casino would be located. The commercials urging people to vote for issue two say Pope County never supported a casino when the casino amendment passed back in 2018. But in one county, local voters said no. But is that true? Why would several casino companies fight over a county that doesn't want them? Let's verify that first question. Did Pope County vote against a casino in the past? Our source, the election research section of the Arkansas Secretary of State's office. Turn back the clock to that midterm election year. Arkansas re-elected Asa Hutchinson, and three ballot questions survived to get before voters. The casino question was issue four. By the end of that November night, the statewide tallies showed voters favored creating four full-scale casinos, including two new facilities in Jefferson and Polk counties. 54% said yes, 46% said no. The website also allows us to look at results county by county. When it came to issue four in Pope County, voters there opposed casinos 60% to 39%. Plus, county leaders also put an ordinance on the ballot that asked directly, should there be a local vote before a casino is approved? 68% of the 18,000 voters wanted local control. And we can look at one more election that night. The Russellville mayor's race pitted three candidates against each other with the eventual winner, incumbent Randall Horton, vowing before the election he would not support a casino in his city. He won with 45% of that vote. Take those three results together and we can verify, yes, most voters in Pope County did not want a casino when asked back in 2018. But that was six years ago. Plenty has changed since then, including years of winners and losers of different court cases, not to mention millions of dollars generated by the three other casinos. Issue two this year is a chance to see if the whole state wants to revisit what Pope County said in 2018, or see if they've changed their minds with the prospect of a resort ready to rise up near I-40. And another thing that has changed since 2018, Pope County Judge Ben Cross has become a strong supporter of the $400 million Legends Casino proposed by the Cherokee Nation. Judge Cross changed his mind after 2018 and has since secured majority votes from the quorum court to get the casino selected and approved.